Hi, I'm Joan Cartan Hansen, and welcome to Science Trek, the web show, and welcome to the Western Star Ranch. Join me to answer your questions about horses are Myron Amsten, president of the Idaho Quarter Horse Association and a farrier, and Dr. Madison Siemens, an equine veterinarian. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Joan. Appreciate the invitation. Thanks for having us. Okay, let's go to your questions. Hi, my name is Kaya. I'm from Basin Elementary. My question is, why do horses stand up while sleeping? Because uh, they, they can. Yeah, well, <laughs> they, they have built in what they call a stay apparatus. It's built into their system. They can stand up and sleep. They, uh, they, they can kind of lock their legs so they don't, they don't that's fall over. Part that's of that the stay apparatus. Stay system. apparatus, it works. And uh, they just, that's genetic in them because they want to be ready to flight from the predators that are going to get them. So rather than have to get up and go, they want to start right from the stand up and get going away from that predator. Landon would like to know, how tall is the tallest horse in the world? The tallest horse in the world is uh, some type of a Shire or Clydesdale horse up in Minnesota. He's 84 inches at the shoulder. His name is Big John. Hi, my name is Avery, and this is my question. How many breeds of horses are there? How many breeds of horses? Probably there's about 200 recognized breeds of horses. There are some subcategories of those, but basically around 200 breeds of horses. And that's throughout the, throughout the world. Hi, my name is Skyla and I go to Sagal Elementary School in Sagal, Idaho. And my question is, what makes horses become feral? Well, a feral horse is, is just a wild horse. And so if the horses have been uh, uncared for just in a wild range type setting, they become feral pretty quickly within a couple of generations. They learn how to fend for themselves. and. Uh, they look at, at man as, as a predator, not as a, as a partner. And, and, and undoing some of that behavior uh, is best left to the hands of a skilled professional like my friend Myron. Hi, my name is Maddie, and I go to Sagal Elementary School in Sagal, Idaho. And my question is, is there an extinct breed of horses? Well, that's a pretty good question. Uh, the, uh, if we were to go back and look at DNA, uh, which is that genetic signature that all animals leave, it's not gonna be possible to determine a breed of a horse. We can only determine that it's a horse. And so the, the DNA from a Clydesdale or the DNA from a Shetland pony are gonna just show that they're horses. So it would be impossible to tell if there was an extinct breed per se. Hi, my name is Emma and I go to Kamei Elementary in Kamei, Idaho. My question is, who picked the Appaloosa horse for a state horse and why? Back in the 70s, uh, Representative Tom Trail uh, put together a program and he had uh, a bunch of kids throughout the state write in and choose the Appaloosa horse as the state horse and Governor Andrus at the time in like 75 actually signed the proclamation to make the Appaloosa the state horse. Hi my name is Tana. I'm from Basin Elementary and my question is how much do horses weigh? The average horse, the horse that you see in somebody's backyard, weighs about a thousand pounds. The Shetland or the miniature horse can weigh under a hundred pounds. And even at birth, some of the little miniature horses weigh oh, 12 or 14 pounds. As opposed to the big Clydesdale, the Shire type horses, uh, they can weigh 18, between 18 and 2,400 pounds. So there's, there's some variation there, wide range of variation there. My name is Lucy and I go to Liberty Elementary and my question is how long is their gestation period? The gestation of a horse, the, the time from, from conception or breeding to the time that the, that the foal comes out to say hello is about 345 days, roughly about three weeks shy of a year. Hi, my name is Evan. I go to Liberty Elementary. My question is, why do horses have manes? The manes of a horse uh, the tail is used for swishing flies away, keeping uh, the, the those uh, flies off them. The mane is, uh, sweat glands are a lot in the neck, so that uh, mane kind of helps wick away some of that sweat, keep that a little bit cooler, uh, makes it look nice. Uh, we can either, they can either have a natural mane, which is really beautiful, or, or we can really take care of it and braid it and uh, brush it out a lot and make it beautiful. Hi, my name is CJ. I am from Basin Elementary. My question is, why do horses kick? 
Well, horses kick because they get startled. They kick because they want somebody out of their space. They want to get horses away from them, even get humans away from them. But mainly they kick because they're startled. We go to pick up a foot. They don't like their foot picked up. They're going to kick. Uh, some horses get to a habit of that, and they just we call them mean horses because they kind of like to kick. But most horses, we can train them to not do that. Hi, my name is Drew. I go to Liberty Elementary School. My question about horses is what colors can they be? They can be a lot. Of the basic colors we talk about are sorrel, which is a red. We talk about a bay, which is a red and, and black. We talk about a black horse. There's a brown. The Appaloosa is spotted. There's grays. The chestnut, some breeds uh, like the Arab don't call, they do not call their horses. They don't have sorrels. They have chestnuts, which is a kind of a light, lighter mane and a red body. Um, they got a lot of different kinds they got from that. They have dapples, they have roans, it's a red roan, a, a blue roan, black roan. Got any others you want to add to that? Dark, <laughs> dark bear brown, uh, <laughs> piebald, which is a paint horse, several, several different colors, usually black and white or brown and white. Uh, but as far as why they're different colors, that's a great Great question. There's white horses, there's albinos, yeah, there's albinos. cremellos, Camellos. perlinos. Hi, my name is Selena. I'm from Basin Elementary, and my question is How strong is a horse? One horsepower. I don't know. That would be hard to estimate. <laughs> yeah, the would. size of the horse, some are stronger than others. Uh, I guess you would have to rate that the strength of them probably in a pulling contest, when you have a draft horses that are hauling logs or hauling a sled, then you can measure how, how strong a horse is based on that. Uh, some, that's m mostly, I think, is built into their DNA, but some of it is training, how well we feed them, how well we build, build them up to those. Just like if we want to lift weights and be muscular, then we're going to train that horse to either pull a sled, pull a log, uh, pull a cow if we're going to rope it. So it's really, unless you're measuring against the, a set amount of weight that you're going to drag, then it would be hard to, to estimate how strong that horse is. Well, it wouldn't be, as far as strength of the horse, it wouldn't be uh, too much to ask a horse to carry 25% of his body weight in live weight, meaning a rider, uh, 12, 14 hours, you know, the Tevis Cup riders ride those, ride those horses 100 miles in less than 24 hours. So they're just amazingly strong pound for pound. The big draft horses can pull thousands of pounds uh, in, the, in the form of a, of a wagon or a buggy or uh, even just sleds. So uh, they're just amazingly strong, versatile animals. Little miniature horses drag, uh, drag little carts around with, with full-size people on them, sometimes two or three people. So pound for, pound for pound, they were probably amongst the strongest domestic animals. My name is Ruby and I go to Liberty Elementary School and my question is how fast can a horse run? A, a quarter horse can run 43 miles an hour, a thoroughbred about 37 miles an hour. So the thoroughbred is designed to run for a farther distance, a uh, quarter horse a little bit shorter, that's why they call them quarter horses. I'm sorry we've run out of time. My thanks to Myron and Dr. Siemens for answering students' questions. Thank you, Joan. Appreciate being here. I hope the kids had a lot of great questions. I hope they learned from some. It's been a pleasure being here. We sure enjoyed it. Thanks for having us. My thanks also to the folks here at the Western Star Ranch for hosting us. If you want to learn more, check out the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, our horses broadcast show, and lots more. And every week, check out my blog for the latest science news for kids, all at idahoptv.org. Thanks for joining us for Science Trek, the web show.